Hi, I'm Tom Mazzarisi from First Light Safaris. We're in the beautiful Mara Neboisho Conservancy at Great Plains Mara Nika Camp. What I'm going to show you is how much stuff I pack for a safari. I'm here in Kenya on 10 days, and what you see here is what I pack for 10 days. All that's pretty much in here. It's all my camera gear. Everything else I need for 10 days is here. And actually, to be honest with you, I probably could even do with less. Let me show you. So what do I have? One fleece. Obviously, the toiletries and other things that you need to carry with you. I even have my noise-canceling headphones for the plane trip over. I have one short sleeve shirt. One long sleeve button down. And these are all safari weight, lightweight uh, type of shirts. Got to have a book to read on the plane for relaxing here in camp. I have one pair of shorts. A lightweight, lightweight pair. This is uh, made by Cool. And actually, I probably only needed one pair, but I packed two just in case. Uh, Patagonia. Uh, another light a light pair of pants. Kind of a nice hiking safari colored pant. This is also made by Cool. I have two t-shirts. Probably only needed one, but I packed two just in case. And in here, real light rain jacket that packs pretty much into this. This is made by Outdoor Research. Don't get much rain certain times of year, but uh, you just never know. We're in Kenya in January, so there is a chance of rain, uh, usually in the form of thunderstorms. And I won't go through it all, but in here I have uh, five pairs of under underwear, five pairs of socks. Um, and then also have a sun hat, a uh, hiking hat, just, just if you're out uh, on a walk or in those middle of the day when it gets pretty hot and you want to protect yourself from the sun. Um, but yeah, that is, that is it in a nutshell. Uh, one thing I do bring for those people who ask, well, what do you do to keep in shape? Yeah, I, I jump rope. You can see there's a lot of room out there. Doesn't take much weight. You can get a good workout in about 10 to 15 minutes. This is it in a nutshell. Don't need to pack a whole lot for a safari. Less is more. And again, with the way international carry-on regulations are, you're kind of limited to what you can carry. So the less you can carry, you don't have to check in baggage, worry about Having lost baggage, which some clients of mine unfortunately did uh, have a, a suitcase lost uh, by the air, airlines for this safari. Um, so yeah, you won't regret going on safari and you don't really need to pack a lot. The camps do the laundry for you. So there's no, there's no need to pack too much stuff. Just pack the essentials and enjoy your safari.